hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel by the way guys we have like 400 subscribers now <laughs> so happy. thank you so much so in my last video i asked that if you want me to make a video on letter of explanation or um statement of purpose so i got some comments so i'm going to do that now by the way it's so hard to film by myself without a tripod and all this so i i have to buy one but i'm still waiting for some things if i get a tripod and some other gadgets or equipment or whatever that i want to buy so let's go straight to the point when you're writing your statement of purpose eh, there are like some key things that should be in your statement of purpose some things that makes up this this statement of purpose the so i'm just going to shorten it to sop you know like when you're writing like a normal letter then you have like introduction body of the letter conclusion all of that so when you're writing your sop you have to include your family or home ties something that will show the consular the the visa person you can know that you have you still have something that will bring you back to nigeria or back to your home country when you are done with your studies in canada you get then your choice of program you also have to explain why you choose or why you are choosing to study that course what that course is going to the benefit of the course for you or the benefit of the course to you and what like job opportunities after that course okay so that's just it so when you're writing your sop after you put your home address you you address it to to i'll write it i forgot and i'll write it up here in the caption to who you address it to or you can also check online that what office or why you're supposed to address your sop to so you you write you can put your name you can put your passport number just like a brief introduction then talk about family ties your choice of program what that program is going to do for you like the job opportunities and what you can do when you leave canada like after your studies you know you're expected to leave canada so what you can do after you leave canada by the way guys i want to decorate my room so i moved to another room another apartment in the first video i made I don't know if you the first video i made sharp i mentioned that i can't cook like in the former apartment that i was so i moved to another apartment so i have i have like a kitchen now but i just want to decorate my room because this place is like smaller but my kitchen is like bigger because i did not have a kitchen in the other room so i just want to like i just feel like it's too basic but i don't know i don't know what to do yet i'm still taking summer classes till july yeah till july so i don't know i'll think about that shall somebody ask for a room tour <laughs> yes i'll think about that probably i won't try to like do like a before and after like now then after okay sorry so let's continue so in your sop you can also attach your proof of funds your um your work results if if applicable if it is necessary if you're using your work can put your work result or any other documents like you can just attach it to it so now to the main video of today what to do when you arrive in canada like your first day in canada or your first week in canada i think for me i use like three days or two two or three days to complete this process so the first thing is your sin social insurance number the way we have nin national identification number in nigeria they have sin here yeah, social insurance number so you have to apply for your sin and you go to service canada to apply for your sin service canada you can just like put it on google maps to look for a service canada that is close to you close to where you are staying so when you get there you guys i would advise or i don't know it depends on how the place is the day me i went to service canada yeah, for my sin when I met like people were there, like, a lot of people were there. So the the officer or the the man working there now came out and was like, oh, we can actually apply online. That we don't have to wait. That if we stay on the line, we're going to wait for like two hours. I mean, I still wanted to like go and open an account that day. So I was like, okay, well, let me just go home. I've already seen that I would do it online, but I was like, let me just try. So I now went home, like I now applied online. I would advise that you like if you have time you can just wait and get it 
I applied online and applied online. I think it took was it a week or two weeks for it to come. But if you wait at your office, you'll be able to get it immediately. Yeah. Not immediately, but uh, you'll get it that same day. You might just have to wait for some time. So that's the first thing, your SIN. Guys, so I went to apply for my social insurance number today. I'll be am I supposed to be using accent to speak to you people, my YouTube people? Or oh, Nigeria, mm -hmm. I mean, why not like, anyone? So they said I can actually do it myself, like online. And I already started applying online self before, but then I was like, ah, let me just come, but there's no harm in coming here in case there's anything I didn't do right. So they said I can just do it online, but you can still choose to wait. But there's a queue, and I have like other things I would like to do today. So I just collected the paper, like on how to register. So thank God the bank I want to open is like very close to the service Canada. So I'm just going to the bank now. I want to open Scotia Bank. So thank God it's very close. I'm just walking to the bank. I'm at the bank already. I'm almost there. Thank God. So I use like two best to queue one stone. After this, I'm going to Walmart again. I went to Walmart yesterday and I saw Shaggy because of bus. I didn't know the correct timing for the bus. So, Get your SIN, keep it confidential. <laughs> we are begging you, <laughs> keep your SIN. Well, your SIN, not just any like if they call you and ask you for your SIN, of course, you should know that that's a scam because they would not do that. Just like I don't know if you're in Nigeria, but I came from Nigeria, so I have to keep talking about Nigeria. If somebody will call you and say send your NIN to me, you know, they can use it for like things for fraud and scam and all of that. So after that, God, why is this special comedy? <laughs> it's distracting me. So, um, don't share your SIM with anybody. It's like when you want to work, that is like, I know that is one thing that requires your SIM. Your employer will ask for your SIM. Then, I've forgotten other instances, but not just any instance will they ask for your SIM. So, after your SIM, that you get to Service Canada, you also have to open a bank account so that you can receive money. So you can receive money. So there are different banks. We have Scotia Bank. We have CD. I have, um, I think, RBC, CIBC, Bank of Montreal. So you choose anyone you want to open. Currently, I have an account with Scotia Bank. So any account you want to open, you can just like check maybe what plans they have for students. Or what is the benefit of opening an account with that bank? Then make sure that the charges won't be too much. Maybe monthly charges or whatever charges will be there, so you don't end up paying like too much money, too much that you even have. Then they will give you a debit card. Then they also run a credit. There's also like a credit card that you get, so that your credit card comes with money. So you can choose to apply for a credit card, and you can say you don't want the credit card. But that credit card, like um, Scotia Bank, gives you one thousand dollars on your credit card, so you can use your credit card to buy anything that is within that one thousand dollars. But you have to like return it. So there's something called credit score. So as you spend, maybe you go to Walmart and you buy something of like two hundred dollars. You can use your credit card to pay. So you know you spent two hundred dollars from your credit card. So the as you return it and faster you return it or something. You're, you're building your credit score so that credit score is like maybe you want to buy a house or a car or something then they see your credit report or credit score report they say that okay if you borrow money or if you use money you definitely return it so that's that then you also have to get a sim card you can get a sim card at walmart dollarama mm, fido i don't know i don't even know well, I got my own at Walmart, Sha. So when you go to Walmart, they activate it for you. If you are staying in a place that has Wi-Fi, I would advise you that you don't need a lot of data. Like because me now where I stay, there's Wi-Fi. So and I'm always I'm always indoors except I'm going for classes. I'm no I don't have any other place I go to. So I'm always indoors. So I just do like a small data plan, then pay for my phone plan. Because you have to pay for your phone plan monthly. So and no tax, tax will still join. He said, "We have plenty money, shall we?" 
so after that your provincial id there's something called provincial id like the id of the province where you are staying so i stay in nova scotia so i did my own id at access nova scotia that's how i was able to do my id so i spoke to one girl i hope the wind doesn't affect this because i noticed that when i'm talking most times because the wind is a lot and guys it's actually raining now so i spoke to a girl that i met so she, i told her i already applied online yesterday so she was like oh i should still go like just try to see if they'll do it for me and uh, if they say because i've applied online at least i'll know i tried so i went to the bank so they said i have to book an appointment i've booked an appointment so guys that's the boss but the boss is supposed to come by 12 30. why i hope the boss is not leaving oh that's not my boss thank god so um they said they will book an appointment for me and tell me oh, did they tell me where to go they didn't send me an email no i don't have a sim card i don't have a bank account i can't receive money i don't have my social insurance number and i believe my social insurance number to open an account so day to day i'm going out now i just finished my classes i'm going to service canada now and i'm really hoping i get my social insurance number done i'm just wasting money for boss i'm just uh, i am stressed it's a lot it's a lot for me <laughs> so i said um get familiar get familiar so you have to get familiar familiar with the bus routes because i don't know how it works in other province provinces but in my own province you can like check online to see the time that the bus will come or you can check in your um map google map make google map your best friend then that's what that's what everybody uses here so you can check your google map to know the time the bus will come where the bus will pass where the bus will drop you then you can also ask questions 